I'm here on the Tulamine River right now. Uh, this is uh, Tulamine 2, Tool 2 claim. Uh, just walked down to the far end of the claim. Uh, get to walk along uh, the Trans Canada Trail here. Say hi, Alex. The Trans Canada Trail, the old KVR Railway, runs right through here. So nice, easy uh, walking. There's too much snow to drive anywhere through here right now, but uh, easy walking on it. Uh, so I'm checking out the bottom end. We're right on the bottom end of the claim right now. Uh, the claim encompasses that whole point, this great big point you see here. It goes all the way out there and then comes back in again. Now, the water level is way up at the moment. Way up. Runoff has started. But I want to come and check out this bottom side of the claim because there's a small section of claim here that's off of private lands that you could actually set up a nice little campsite on. Um, there's a great little camping area up at the top end of the claim, but it is on private land. It's not marked private in any way, but it's still a little scary going onto someone else's property. Uh, so down here, we're actually off the private lands right now. And there's a great open clearing right in here that you can make a nice, nice campground on. I think I'm gonna walk in there. There's a gap in the fence just over here. And then take some more shots of the creek and the place where you might be able to camp. Beautiful little spot right here. Someone's made a little bench to sit over the river. Easily set up some tents down here if you want to camp overnight on your claim. The gravel bars are all covered right now with the river up so much. Nice with the gravels here. Lots of black sand. Lots of black sand on this, this river. Lots of heavies. Fencing of some sort down here. I have to check to see exactly where the property lines are so you can make sure you're not on someone else's property, but I think you could possibly even get uh, way down off of the rail bed there to bring a vehicle in down. It would take a bit of work. I think it's possible. I think the um, property line is over by those trees over there, so I think this is still out on ground line. Although the fact that there's a fence right below me here might be on the property line right now. I'd have to check to see exactly where that property line is. But I know there's a little section on this corner that's off of the private property and easy access from the Trans Canada Trail. Right there. Not gonna do any sampling this trip out here. I was sampling last time I was out here, out on that point. Uh, I really wanna get back here someday when the water is low enough that I can wade across up at that point and check out that bedrock outcropping on the far side because that looks like it has huge potential. It's on the outside of a curve, yes, but the gravels that are washing out look like it was old riverbed gravels on top of that bedrock. So, it could be good. Well, not doing any sampling here today. Just wanted to go and check out this one little spot here. The one little spot on this claim that is outside private property. Remember, anything below high water is public land. Anything below high water is crown land. So anything in the creek bed itself, uh, anyone can can go and tackle uh, and the private property that does make up the majority of the point uh, is all just wilderness wilderness land so it has special rules private property and wilderness uh, you do have right to cross it uh, if, to keep people out you have to have it 100% fenced and signed uh, I think this, the rule is the signs have to be visible from each other, so so close together that you can actually see the signs one from each other. Uh, so you can cross private lands, wilderness lands, if they're not fenced and signed. And 
this chunk over here definitely isn't. But um, it's still nice to keep off other people's property if you can. Deer print everywhere here. Just walking over this way, I saw some fence posts, so that might be the actual edge of the property. There's some of the gravels. Easy to get. Lots of area up here to run high bankers, and your discharge will never get back to the creek. Lots of deer prints, lots of wildlife prints around here. Where did those fence posts go? Okay, there they are over there. A couple of fence posts. That's actually probably the edge of the property there. That means there's a lot of area over here still out on public. Anyhow, I'm going to end it there. See you next time. Here I'm at that gap in the fence. I'm not sure if someone's just cut through the fence or if it's meant to be open. But looking at the, the road there, I see ATV tracks down over the snow, but ATV would be easy to get in here. I'm not sure if you get a vehicle down there without a bit of work, uh, but an ATV easily into the river here. And I heard something like a grouse in the forest. <laughs> I think I just scared up a grouse. Spring is in the air. You nice and warm there, Alex? <laughs> Terrible aim. Terrible aim. You think you can hit me, do you? Whew. One more try. I won't move. Oh, you got me.